showing talking with Michael is like a game of 3d chess don't let her derail you you seem a bundle of nerves I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands so yeah you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous some deeds about her could be useful when I talk to her don't you think Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. A lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around those systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now. How am I to deal with you? Came to Clyde's for info, left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. 
Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something, or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs time to think. Couple of days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. You have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. 
got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No, me in the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. This is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean my go? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. At seven hundred thousand euro dollars per month. For the second consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. You know, revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief. But that's not how it works. with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. 
How many eddies it'll get you? Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. V? Got to the bottom of Ebenika. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. So why are these docks called Ebunike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. Meaning you found Grayson? He really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Talk on the way. You gonna be joining us? Nah, I already did my part. Don't tell me you don't want to see Smasher dead. Me sure would, but not so close. The bastard has a bad habit of coming back from the dead. Mm-hmm. True bastards somehow always find a way. We going? Let's go. Good luck. Hey, V. Good to see you. How's it going? Coming back later? Maybe. Don't know. Don't wait up. How'd Wayland help you exactly? He made sure we'll find Grayson at home when we stop by. So we know where to look for him. Got you a little something. Johnny's jacket? Oh, with me wearing it. You sure you won't confuse us? Quite sure. Thanks. A replica. Made to order. Real jacket must have disintegrated into dust years ago. Thanks. Jump in. Finally looking half decent. What'd Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Oh, Johnny talks about himself, mostly. Hmm. 
Right. You sure you're up for this? What? You getting cold feet? No, just... I don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam smashes his obsession, not yours. <laughs> Think so? Just trying to play fair. It's a little weird you didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation, time to time. Yeah, but you, you never tried to track him down? Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Believe me, I know. We'll get back to that, I guess. Okay, here's as far as we go. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fucker's gotta be around here somewhere. So what's our plan? Waylon saw Grayson somewhere on the docks. He was with somebody. Smasher. So I hope. Gotta get to the Maelstrom data term first. Should be some info on Smasher there. Main stash house. Data terms there. You know where their data term is? How exactly? Set up the buy myself. Athena D3, external database. Didn't know you worked for Maelstrom. Work for anybody. Long as it's on my terms. See, I missed a lot these last 50 years. Okay, Ready? we can start. Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. And in the meantime, we do what? Wait and watch. Okay, good as it's gonna get. Maelstrom's got the dogs covered, and you'll cover me. Come on, let's go. She's tense. Cover her just in case. Got an idea. Wait a sec, then follow me. Gotta get to the data term, quietly.
yeah? Some little fuckers are good. We'll be scrolling! All right, you got it. Scan it, see if there's anything we can use. I'll watch the door. Now, knows exactly where to find him. She's stalling. Told you, Rogue's still scared of the asshole. Looks like they're hiding out on the ship. Okay, let's see what we turn up. Over there, to the right. There she is, the Ebonike. Not looking so hot. Even shittier on the inside. Let's go. Hard to believe he's got a hidey hole here. Did you expect Smasher to put up a sign or something? <laughs> Gotta search the deck. Okay. Why are you even doing this? I'm settling a score. Revenge and Johnny. That too. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Now I know who jumped King Tao last month. Thoroughly pro work. You sure it was this exact merch? 679275PN1H. Sent three crews out myself to find it for the Chinese. Whole city was after it. Gotta admit the bastard's good. Yep. Real fucking preem. Now we find and kill the bad guy, okay? Shooting at me with my own gun. Aloyan, 3516. Signature sound, I know it anyway. Knocking it out alive! Come here! Come here! Not yours, I don't think. 
Grayson. Oh my, Rogue. Uh, you and me not playing for the same team anymore? <clears throat> Guess I'm not at all surprised. Seems your specialty. Slipping shivs in the backs of allies. Uh. Where's Smasher? Could crack your skull like an eggshell. Know that? You'd still be able to talk. For a little while. But I'm happy to talk. Ever wonder how Rogue survived after the attack on the tower? How in hell no one ever hunted her down? Her alone. <clears throat> Out of all that Atlantis trash. Cause I do. I truly wonder how far she had to go to set herself up so comfy. Who'd she finger fuck? Whose crack did she have to lick to- <clears throat> What's he going on about? He's trying to throw you off. Gonk thinks he can still squirm out of this. Where's Smasher now? <clears throat> With the Arasakas. But I think you know that already. When's he due back? Never. Faithful old Adam's just been named head of security there. Uh, not coming back to this rat hole ever. I stayed behind just to tie off his loose ends. Shit! Could say that again. You two will never jump that high. Smasher's out of your reach. But don't feel bad. He'll find you himself. Likes to resolve shit like this in person. You're fucking useless. Let me do the honors, V. Hey! Why are you so interested in Smasher anyway? I'm not. Interested in Silverhand and what happened to him. Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> what do you want to know? Silverhand's iron. You had it. What? You a fan, too? Smasher give it to you? Uh-huh. Reward for a special job well done. Smasher ever tell you what he did with Silverhand's body? That into him, huh? Plan to exhume that scop? Or you just want to hear how he died, soaked in his own piss. Neurons scorched by Soul Killer. What did they do with him? Badlands, near the oil fields. Buried out there. <coughs> 101 northbound. Then head for the landfill. Dig deep enough. Might even find a shit smeared. Heard so enough. Far. Finish him. Let's end this quickly. Want to rip my eyes out just looking at him? No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. He deserves extinction? Do I end him? Yes. Meaning, do what you think is right. Smasher's got something that was Johnny's. Could be yours. Just gotta let me live. How'd Smasher wind up with Johnny's stuff? Told me Saburo Arasaka ordered him to get rid of the body. Any and all sundries. Sold most of it. Except the Malorian. And what I got. You got lucky today. Turn it soft on you, V. What I promised. In the container. On that Goliath over there. Yeah, what's inside? You'll see. Got the access card right here. Take it. For fuck's sake. Pointless. This whole thing. Still no leads, nowhere to go from here. Fuck. V, tell her. To Johnny, this is more than a 50-year-old grudge. Really? Like, what is it? It's about you. He wanted to do this with you. What, to cheer me up? <laughs> Didn't work. Smasher. Fuck! You don't get it. 
This isn't about Smasher. He's just the goddamn tip of the iceberg. Even if we get him, what does that get us? No reason to stay. I'm out. Well, you're not at all curious? Later, V. Leave her alone, V. She'll get it together. But times like this, she prefers to be alone. Okay. I get that. Gotta get that container down somehow. If there's something of mine in there, I want it back. Okay. I'm looking for the control panel. I know what it is. Let's see what we got here. Take that rag off it. Okay. My ride. Hop in. I'll even let you drive. like a dream. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go see where they fucking planted my ass. I never realized the thing between you and Rogue was that serious. Oh, damn right it was serious. When we met up, someone always died. How so very romantic. Is that really your style? There was always something going on. She had a gig, I had a gig. Music, that is. Was never run of the mill. Although did try to take her to see a flick once. And... And nothing came of it, as usual. than I thought. Okay, gotta be around here somewhere. Can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. It's better than the junkyard where I landed.
you expect? Headstones, flag, and flowers? No. I... I don't know. A marker. Something. Anything. You really need symbolic, empty gestures? Guess I do. Thought I'd feel like I'd closed a chapter here. Like I'd said goodbye to the old Silver Hand. Hello to the new. How do you feel? Like I never even was. Or like I was still inside Makoshi. We'll figure something out. Better now? A bit. But let's say it was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. The guy who saved my life. V, you don't know how much I want that to be true. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up. What we have. No, Johnny, you fucked that up too. You used me. Lied to me. I can't trust you at all. <clears throat> Is it too late to ask for a second chance? What do you want from me? Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. At least so it seemed, till now. Okay, but as second chances go, this is your last. I refuse to be that naive. I'll try damned hard. Johnny Silverhand, relentless rocker boy who never gives up. V, first among suckers. You were a real dickwipe at first. You sort of deserved it. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things. I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night? Complaining about not being able to kill me? Never thought we'd make it this far. You said you let your friends down. Did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Smasher Biz really got to her. You can't leave it like this. I don't think. Might be right. She was acting weird. You ought to talk to her. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours.
it really come to this, Night City? Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my entry in the year? Sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No, why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> Well, the world's gotta feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's gonna sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town? Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Mm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Uh, hey, um... Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up this. Yo, 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 my cubers, shroomers, and humors. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. 
Meaning he does his shopping there. I mean you can do yours at his spot, assuming you don't even want to. He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green, thanks. Hey. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists. Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Wait a sec. What's that you're wearing? Isn't that... That's right. An exact replica of Silverhand's jacket. Hey, you look as if I just gave you a half-century-old flashback. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Last time I saw that, I was still basking in the glory of youth. One time, Johnny hung it on a chair to go beat the living shit out of some Militech apologist. I snuck up and I put it on just for a few seconds. Oh, the good old days. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even a silver hand. He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on, impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band, not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kiroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help me chew now. I need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire. Then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope, knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy, a blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. 
Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks, never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on, hang on. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, oh, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but... It's changed all the same. Sure, now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meatbag full of secondhand implants. <laughs> <laughs>